Well, we are at Imperial War Museum North today for After the Silence, Music in the Shadow of War. I'm, I'm really pleased we're doing it in this fantastic, fantastic place, which the architecture is, is a real architectural statement of the devastation of war. Well, war is, is such a significant thing, and, I, and we really wanted to capture this properly and as massively as we could. So we have over 300 musicians in the building, um, 85 works, 25 of which are premieres. I wanted to focus on emotion because war actually is all about that in the end. And on contrast, so we have hope, we have despair, we have violence, we have peace, we have tranquility and stillness, but then we have desperation and devastation. So it's all about trying to capture all of that in sound and art. Well, the whole idea was to, to empower the audience to create their own path through music as they wish through, and through the various emotions. So they're given a map upon arrival and they can choose either a totally aggressive route or a peaceful route or a mixture of everything. So they could go for total anguish with the Pedreschi Threnody and then go to almost the sublime with the quartet for the end of time by Messiaen. And it's just about creating that and you have different places in the downstairs, in the cafe, in the, in the foyer area, in the main space that people can actually explore as they wish. One of my passions is cross art form and I wanted this event to actually embrace that. The, the architecture itself allows that to happen, so the high walls allowed us to create visuals for the event. So it's an audio-visual experience, but there's dance, there's history, there's poetry, there's music, and it's all into one. It will, it will capture the imagination of everybody, and it will also capture people with different interests, so history, war veterans, um, people who love music, people who love dance, people who love cross art, people who love visuals, and it's all there for everybody to enjoy and explore as they want to. Art and society, there are two things that are so intrinsically linked together. And I, I'm hoping that people will go out of here feeling the horrors of war, feeling the hope that people had inside, feeling the unfortunate devastation that war left behind it, but also the, the heroic nature of the people who wanted to, to make peace for the world. And I hope that people feel that inside and just take that with them. <laughs>